I have decided to do a pearl collection video. Some of the pearls that I got in this collection was because I, when I ran the boutique, I had two suppliers supplying to me the pearls. One is a local and um, she has a jewelry store and the other friend of mine is a Japanese. I'll be showing you my collection, my small collection of pearls. So, in this collection, if you can see, the first one that I'm going to be showing to you, this is a Baroque pearl. And it is larger in size than, let's say, this one, the small one. If you compare the size, it's much, much more larger. And then the color is much, much more mature. This is more yellowish in color. And the light lacquer and the sheen and the, and the luster is much, much more shinier. And um, in between these large baroque poles are the cashew poles. The cashew poles is not really um, used very frequently. So when I had these baroque poles, I asked my Japanese friend to intersperse the um, baroque poles with the cashew poles, even though it's very tiny and small, but the luster of the from coming from the cashew poles is very, very bright and shiny. It's almost like a rainbow. And um, I hope the camera can pick this out. So this is the first one, which is the Baroque Pearls. And then after that, the, the next um, necklace that I've got to show you, this one I've shown in several of my videos when I'm wearing my workwear or going out I use this this is one of my everyday necklaces it's it, it is not so expensive because as you can see the luster is much less compared to this baroque poles this is actually a lower quality but um, I still love it just the same because it's got all the different hues of the poles here for instance this one you've got this is um sort of a light brown and followed by a cream and darker brown cream and a gray color and a white so i love this type of subtle colors they're very elegant and they match with almost most of my outfits because these are my staple favorite colors which are creams and whites and grays and browns and then the next one here, I've also featured in most of my um, styling videos. This is my long poles. This is one of the first um, investment that I bought myself after I have worked for many years. Um, this is a 9mm and it's more white in color and it's very weighty and heavy. But um, I initially got smaller poles but um, eventually I decided to keep this for myself because as I mature I find that the larger pole suits me better and then this one this is more pink in hue this is um, actually fresh water poles this is very special to me because this was presented to me by my mom this is one of the first things that was in my collection along with my um, fresh water potato pole bracelet the potato pole bracelet is larger in size and it's white in color it comes with this cute cashew clasp and she had it done for me when I first started working and I still wear it as an everyday bracelet and together with this double strand um, fresh water pearls which is pinkish in color she got me a pink color so that it looks very sweet on me and then um, the next one as well was for my mom um, after I have worked a few more years after this about five or six years later she got me my first seawater poles and I was so proud of it um, this is seawater poles are much more round and the luster is much much more brighter this is sort of um, white but it's got a pink sheen to it I wear this very very frequently and then I had the clasp changed as well um, recently because 
the old clasp was not uh, locking properly and these are also individually knotted um, together the same design like this this is individually knotted it's always better because the classic way to string a uh, pearls is having it individual, individually knotted it looks much more symmetrical because there is a tiny gap in between not only that the original pole design is using not synthetic thread but natural thread so it can breathe poles actually breathe if you put them in water you can sometimes see um, sort of like uh, bubbles coming out from them and the the safety of having individual knots is that um, in case it breaks it will not the whole string will not come undone and you have to go and run after it it's individually knotted so let's say if one or two comes out the rest will still remain intact and safe okay and then um, yes this one I have in my collection still I sold them in my shop I sold pearls in my shop as I said um, I had two suppliers one is a local and the other is a Japanese these are seawater poles and um, these are the most you can see this is more mature than the rest because the color is sort of dark cream color um, if nobody is taking this I may end up keeping it for myself till maybe when I'm older again then I'll wear this because the color is much much more darker than the rest you see this is pink this is more for a young girl to wear and this is more for a mature lady in my opinion I do not know um, it's all up to the individual taste um, as to which ones they prefer um, got this little angel cherub on a heart sitting on a heart i had this in my boutique previously just put it here as a deco so these are my pearl necklace collection and i've got this as well to show you this is a um, more chunkier version this is done by my local friend it's actually very very chunky and heavy it's made of silver and the silver has actually oxidized and she has intertwined it together with tiny tiny poles so perhaps after this video i can show you a few looks of how some of these poles are worn together with my clothing and okay these are my pole necklace collection i'm going to show you a few of my um, necklaces pearl necklaces as well okay so this one is quite special because um, it, it, it comes with a cashew pearls which is cream in color and at the bottom of it it's got an aquamarine so these are very very delicate and designed by my Japanese friend the Japanese design is much more delicate and tiny they like things very delicate tiny and pretty whereas um, my local friend she caters more to the um, local and European market who likes more flamboyant style um, this is done by my local friend and this is more casual um, seawater poles I would wear this for casual days and then I've got this um, stud earrings which is grey in colour so this is a different type of um, grey and then I've got this sea sorry fresh water poles which are irregular in shape and yellow in color whereas this one is um this one is sea water poles which is more white and round in color so if you compare them in size see this is much larger this is much smaller and then I've got this magnificent brooch it's made up of diamante and um, the pole in the center is um, a grey pole a seawater pole and then it's surrounded by diamante this is really really magnificent and then I've also got this designed by my Japanese friend 
this is a um, very very delicate string of poles oh dear it's tangled up let me untangle it so these are very very delicate and she has mixed it together with cashew poles with grey colour and rose quartz and tiny seed poles so these string of poles I can wear it to the office it is so beautiful and elegant and then she has also designed this for me um, these are some of the jewellery that I sold in my shop previously and I kept one or two of them for myself this is like a cluster of grapes um, made of, of amethyst with tiny grey poles on top I hope that you can see them so this is like a cluster of poles and these ones as well are sea water poles um, very very tiny Sorry, these are fresh water poles. This was given to me by my mom as well in um, three strands. I purposely chose a very, very small pole for the three strands so that it will not be too much. So this, uh, this was given to me by my mom. So I seldom wear them because it's three strands. So I think it's a bit too dressy unless I've got a function to go to and I've got a delicate dress to wear it with. Match it together with this magnificent diamante um, brooch. So I hope that you enjoyed my video on my pearl collection and I hope that you will support me and subscribe to my channel and I hope that you have a great week ahead and thank you so much for watching my video. With this beautiful brocaded um, dress which is dark grey with um, floral prints on it i have decided to pair it with one of my most outstanding collection of uh, bracelet that i have i hope the camera can pick it out um, well if you see um, i got this this was made in australia and then it is a four pole but it's totally I'm not so sure is this metal or silver plated something like that the first necklace that I have on since I have not featured this necklace in any of my outfit um, videos is the baroque pearl which I showed you earlier on in my pearl collection video the baroque pearl with the grey cashew um, pearls which was made by my Japanese friend so anyway getting on with it so this necklace would be beautiful with this dress I don't think if you are having this sort of a neckline I'm not so sure what you call this this is like an inverted sweetheart neckline which is v-neck but it's more softer than a v-neck because it's curved inwards um, it's not appropriate to wear a long pearl necklace with this because it goes against the beautiful neckline so I, I, pref I chose to wear this short pearl necklace okay ladies so I have the pearl necklace on and since this is um, quite baroque and it's quite big so I shall be pairing it with my white seawater pole which I featured in the video so if you can see I've got the white um, seawater poles which are more roundish in design to match with my baroque um, pole necklace and my very very outstanding um, bangle this 
the next outfit that I have on is this Japanese printed dress. I am going to be matching it together with this Keishi pole that I showed you in my earlier pole video. Seed poles. I hope that you can see it. It's very long so it's and very delicate and together with this necklace i've also got this pair of um, seed poles which is dark gray in color similar to the dark gray of the necklace so i purposely purchased these earrings to be worn with this necklace if i want to dress my dress it up a little bit more i would change the earring to the cluster grapes one remember this cluster grape earring that i showed in the video earlier on so i would actually match this together with the necklace if i want to dress it up so if you can see the earrings is like clusters of grapes dangling on my ears together with this. <laughs> 